Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to get started with my new character controller which is top down WASD. So just download it from the asset store or the package manager and click import on the entire package. This process should be fairly quick and now we just have to go to the demo scene, press play and that's it, it's done, end of the video. Now, but more seriously, um, it is indeed pretty much all you have to do for the character controller setup. Now, as you can see, it's ready to use. We can zoom, we can rotate the camera, and I can start moving around, jumping, and so on. So this one is a very, very fun uh, character controller. Um, probably one of my favorite type of character controller because it is inspired by uh, the game Battle Right, which in my opinion has one of the best movement and combat mechanics um, for any PvP games I played. So um, if you're not familiar with what a top-down WASD controller is or like how it works, basically you have eight movement direction, up, down, left, right, and then the diagonal one. So top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left. And as you can see, the character is always going to um, follow and look at the cursor, as well as, as you can see, it has some nice IK going on here to make things a bit more polished and look better. So, um, but the way it works here is that if I press the move movement up key, you can very easily customize those keys by the way, but by default, if I press the W key, you can see that I go up, but you can also see that as I move my cursor, the character is seamlessly transitioning from um, move backward to actually move forward. So you can literally just do a full 360 that way, and you can see that the character will always look at the cursor and transition in a new um, animation, um, right, for this thing. So that it's always, you know, looking right and also uh, moving in the right direction. So this type of control makes it very, very fun to move around while still having full freedom over your cursor uh, for your combat. So for example, if I will go ahead now and if I wanted to cast a fireball, there is no such thing in this controller, of course. Um, you can have it in your own game, or if you use the RPG Builder version of this controller, it's gonna be very easy to do. But let's say that I wanted to move backward, right? So move in this direction, but still shoot in this direction. Well, I could, right? I can just move with my keyboard and uh, keep fighting with my cursor. Um, and uh, this is the difference with a top-down click-to-move controller where I would have to click here first and then move my cursor here to attack. So both have their own um, advantage or like pros and cons and um, some people prefer one of the other. Me, I'm just here to provide to you the option to use um, one or the other, right? Um, personally, I really like this type of control, but I really, really enjoy click-to-move also. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the kind of like presentation and setup of the controller. So like I said, you can jump, uh, there is gravity, you can rotate the camera. So for example, I could go ahead now and face in this direction of this obstacle and we can just jump down and you know, everything um, is pretty smooth. You have gravity, everything. Um, yeah, so everything you would expect at least for uh, the base of such controller. So if you have any kind of suggestion or improvement or whatever, always let me know in the comment or on Discord. And um, if it makes sense, I'm going to make sure to um, implement that. Now, concerning the um, animations. So first of all, um, I just want to uh, let you know that when you import this package, you're going to have this character, which is a default robot coming from Unity, but you're not gonna get those weapons and you're not gonna going to get those um, animations. So the weapons are from a pack that we are producing with Blink. So you can already get them, they are already on the store. There is even a bundle that I released a few days ago, which is saving you a, a fair bit of money uh, rather than buying the individual packs. And when it comes to the animations, which are honestly really cool for this kind of controller, uh, these come from the RPG character Mechanim pack from Explosives. So you can also find this pack on the store, but you don't have to use those. You obviously can use any animation you want. So uh, let's take a look at the animator here. As you can see, it is fairly simple. Uh, nothing too overwhelming. Here we have a jump animation, so you can just drag and drop your own here. We have a falling animation, which uh, should be a loop. You can just drag and drop yours here. And here we have the locomotion blend tree. And here you can just double click. And um, here you have the list of all movement animation, including the idle. So here, once again, once you have your own animation pack imported, 
you just drag and drop your animation here. So you will need an idle, run forward, run backward, and so on. So you just make sure to replace uh, this list of animation and you will be just fine. Now, let's take a look at what the uh, controller um, gives you in terms of customization. So let me go ahead and go to a uh, full screen and open the inspector here. So here we have um, the character controller component. As you can see, I want to show you um, that's all you need in your scene or rather on your character prefab. You see that the camera doesn't have uh, this component, right? So you just need this and everything else will be taken care of. So uh, here you see that we can very easily disable the camera. So if I go ahead and move now, um, well, the camera is no longer following the character, right? But you could completely replace it either with your own camera or with something like Cinemachine, for example. Now, uh, the init camera is um, if you want, for example, to just drag and drop a camera on your character, you can if this character is already in the scene. But if you want to spawn your character, then you can use init camera and it's just going to find a camera um, with um, this name for the game object. You can choose the starting position, the starting rotation of the camera. These two settings are for the zoom. So if I set it to uh, 0 and 50, as you can see now, I can go really low uh, when I'm zooming and really far. But I'm going to set it back to uh, what it was. And as you can see now, you know, it's more um, enjoyable in my opinion. But all of these settings are, of course, up to you. Now we have the zoom speed. So if I set this to 1, you can see that it's much slower to zoom um, or the zoom power rather. Now we have the drag to rotate. So like I showed you, we can rotate the camera. But if you turn this off, you can no longer uh, rotate. So that's really up to you. Uh, the dump time and the max offset. So for example, here you see that um, if I move my cursor here, you see that the camera is slightly, slightly kind of like panning or moving a bit away from our character. If I set this to two, for example, you can see that we can go much further. And uh, the offset dump time is how quick this is going to move. So um, yeah, I'm going to set it back to what it was. Oh, my bad, that's not what I wanted to do. Let me select the uh, character again. Okay, so um, let's put this back to um, something like 2.5 and this to uh, 0.3. All right. Now, uh, same as the camera, we can um, disable the movement. So if for whatever reason you wanted to do that, it's possible. And here you can customize, of course, your movement speed, the jump height. So for example, now you can jump a lot higher. <laughs> um, I'm going to put it back to default, but yes, as always, you have full control. Here you see that it is very easy for you to change the default keys. So in this case, um, yeah, you can just uh, simply change them from here in the inspector. Or if in your game you have a system where players can save their own keys, we can very easily set those keys dynamically um, in this uh, script. So these are public fields, you can just do it in one line of code. Now this is for the IK settings. So if I set the body weight to zero, you see that only the head is moving. Um, so yeah, you basically have uh, full control over that. Uh, you could make it a bit less, for example, 0 0.3. Yeah, so just tweak this and um, find the values that work well for you. And the animation smooth time is, uh, as you can see right now, this is not really smooth. Like it's going to switch from one state to another. So it looks pretty bad. But if you set this to something like 0.2 or something, it is a lot uh, smoother. So yeah, as always, like I said, find the values that work uh, well for you. Uh, tweak those and then you can just copy this and leave play mode and add uh, component values here. And that's it, you're going to be all set and you can save that as a prefab. So that's pretty much it for these getting started videos. Let me know if you have any question in the comment or on Discord. And like I said before, let me know if you have also any suggestion. Thank you for watching and see you in a future video.